can never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you What's going on guys? We are heading out right now. We are heading over to the shop to pick up my brother's car. It's finally complete. We've been hyped for this for so long. I think it's been like a month. All right, Leah, are you ready to get your car? I'm so pumped, man. Leah has been waiting for so long. I literally just, I have to borrow my parents' car. I have to have Noor drive me around. It's so bad. And now he's gonna have a clean example. This is like a full package E92. It is a full package. It's 2012, isn't it, or 2011? 2011. 2011, but still LCI, the newer generation's M Sport, which is insane. So anywho, let's go pick it up. I'm super stoked to see it. Fully painted. We just have to put it together, right? We just put it together, yeah, that's it. It's gonna be Legos. done today, guys. It's gonna be done today. We are pulling up to see the Oz finished car for the most part. This is exciting. Let's check it out. 435 ish. I was about to say M4. <laughs> it looks like an M4. Looks so good. All right, I think your car, it's somewhere out here probably. We're just gonna see where Antonio is and then find the Oz car. Those halos, dude. <laughs> I was gonna say something. Dude, you see those halos? What's up, bro? Holy shit. Damn. The pimp is not that bad. So this is because of the hood? Yeah. Okay. I mean, fiberglass, you can't do it. Yeah, you can't bend it or anything. The screw for the radiator support, it wasn't there. Oh, okay. Hold the hood. Oh, hold it, yeah. Okay. I just, we just put it, but look. It's fucking long, big screw. Yo, I see. We just put it there to hold it. Okay. okay. But it should hold it, right? Yeah. Okay. We can go to the Russian guy. Nobody. Oh, right on the corner, yeah. I hate you, Holly. All right, guys, so I just spoke with Antonio. The car is pretty much ready. He saw the, he saw the 435 for the first time. It aired up and everything. I had to do a little bit of cool things. Anywho, we're going to head over to the other shop, get a few screws that we need for the radiator support, and then we're going to head back to the shop and hopefully get the whole front end fully assembled. All right, guys, this is the uh, and his new baby, full M Sport. And dude, guys, the car looks so good with the lump on the hood. The car looks so good. All right, here it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some coolant now. It needs an engine detail for sure. Oh no, it's not enough. All right, we gotta put some coolant in there, boys. Guys, the car is out of gas. It literally says zero. I swear to God, if it doesn't make the 76, we have to push it right here. It's gonna be really bad. So uh, please, please let it roll. At least cross the street. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay. Boy, we made it. Oh my God, guys, that was so stressful. Oh my god, you guys, it's so nice. I cannot wait to just wash her today. Yeah, go, go, bro. You're out of gas, dude. Just go. This thing has front and rear sense. This is literally full package, guys. I can't wait to show you guys the whole car. But yeah, we finally got the hood. It's painted. It's on there. Front bumper. It's painted. It's on there. We can even put in the sensors for us. So we just have to be a little bit of a lining, but I think it's going to come out great. This is technically my brother's first drive, too. So we'll see if the engine's actually okay. Uh, we'll see if there's any like head gasket issues, any overheating issues on this drive because they're about 22 minutes away. So let's see if it'll make it to the garage. Guys, I'm so happy for my brother. He's been waiting for this car for so long. I'm just really hoping we don't have any surprises that'll make it to the shop. It is low on coolant. We put a whole gallon in there, but I think we need at least another gallon. So um, if he, I told him to check, put his eye on the temperature gauge. If it goes a little high, I told him to pull over and then I just have to go get some coolant or something. But there is no Walmart within like a five mile radius and the shop is like 10 miles away. So we're just gonna head straight to the shop. Alright guys, I'm pulling up to the shop right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and let John in. John is here, he forgot his keys. And I'm gonna actually head over to BMP and check up what's going on with Sears uh, 335. Guys, these halos, I get why there's 15,000 modules. These halos are so bright, look so good. Dude, come out here and look at them, dude. I don't think you've seen them. Bro, it looks so, when you're driving Miami, it looks like an M3 because of the hood and the bumper and stuff <laughs> and the headlights, it looks like an M3. Honestly, I do not regret the price of these headlights. Like, yeah, I know, they, they are well worth every penny. And dude, this like, hood, oh color? my God. With this hood too, dude. You need to wash the car, dude, it's gonna come out. Gonna Throw in the grills. Boy, okay, so we're gonna take off this bumper. We gotta put a few things together on it. And we gotta put in the weather guards and all that stuff. You even gotta put in that side skirt. I'm even thinking about putting in some kind of mesh grills here. Um, we gotta like glue something there. We gotta figure out something for that. We're gonna put on a logo. And we're just gonna go ahead and assemble this bad boy. And then hopefully Jonathan's gonna be detailing it for you, right? Yeah, so we gotta get this seat together. Uh, <laughs> Devon took it out, so we gotta screw that back in. Clear the codes. And then it's not misfiring anymore, right? The whole drive here? The alignment's bad, but it's not misfiring. Everything with the engine was good. It's not misfiring. How is the, how is the, the temperature? How are the temps? 
250. Cool. So we're good on that. We're just gonna go ahead and put some coolant to be safe. And I don't think I saw any coolant leaking when we stopped anywhere. So this is really good. This is a pretty good goodbye, honestly. This is, let's just get, let's get to work. So here is the airbag cable right here. A little broken, but I think it'll be fine. I hope so. It's, it's just the housing. And then uh, this is the airbag sensor. We got a new one. Uh, what you got off a pick and pull car? Uh, we got two screws that look like it'll do the job. So we're gonna go and just bolt it in, plug in the sensor. Hopefully everything's good. Let's just try it. All right, guys. So this was the new piece they replaced. It looks amazing, dude. I don't even think they can find the. You can't. Wait, like, this is the only thing that's damaged, and it's right there. Dude, they did amazing, dude. Never now I have so much more confidence, like, in like buying cars like this. Right. That's awesome. We're just trying to pretty much line up the hood and the bumper as much as possible right now. All right guys, so we ended up fixing the hood gap a lot better. So you guys can check that out. It looks a lot better. This side's a little bit, I mean, it's not perfect. This is an aftermarket hood, but it came out really good. Um, so we just see the two grills. We ordered grills, they came in, and we tried putting them on, but apparently these are for the 07s, and this is a 2011. So apparently they're a lot bigger on the, the 2011s. I did not know that. So we're gonna have to order some new grills. We're gonna have to order these guys right here. We're gonna have to order the thing that goes right here and then also these little side markers and then the wheel guard. So we're missing a couple things. We also need to get some kind of, uh, you know, ventilation things to put over here so we can cover that up. Guys, this whole engine bay is gonna get a detail by my boy Jonathan, but for now, you guys see we topped off the coolant. Did a little bit of a spill, no big deal again. This whole engine bay is getting detailed, so we're good to go. You shouldn't have any problems. Um, we're gonna go ahead and just wash the car real quick, and then once we actually wash the car, we're gonna go ahead and clear all the codes just to see on the way back home if we're gonna have any lights on the dash. So we replaced the airbag module, uh, I mean the sensor and everything. Um, so I'm hoping, and we also removed the seat and we put it back in. So we're hoping once we clear the codes, the codes should go away. Let me just make sure the seat's plugged in. Yep, okay, seat's plugged in, we're good. I know guys, this whole car needs a detail. Jonathan's gonna do an inner and interior detail, but we're just gonna go ahead and wash the outside because it looks terrible from the outside too. Oh my God, it's actually kind of low-key looks like my M3 if it was painted black because of the hood and stuff. The headlights honestly are amazing. Okay, I didn't think LCI headlights are that big of a difference, but these during the day are just as good as these guys. So it's on the E chassis, but looks amazing. Um, the bumper, again, I love this bumper. They're just missing some grill pieces there, those pieces, uh, grills itself, and then also these guys right here. Other than that, oh, also the top piece for the hood. Other than that, guys, this car really looks amazing. It looks you know, this is a full M Sport 328i, full package LCI 2011. This stuff over here looks like it needs to get polished out. But other than that, oh my God, this looks amazing. I love this car already. And he's in alignment too, so we're gonna have to get that done. Looks like we did a pretty good job because alignment's only slightly off. It's not too crazy. Anyway, we're just putting coolant. Let's go ahead and clear the lights and uh, see if we can get this thing home. No problems. All right, we got Carly boys. Let's do it. Wow, this car needs a cleaning. 
Oh my God, it's so filthy. But once it is, it's gonna look sick. I was also thinking about sanding this down and dipping it in carbon. You guys let me know what you guys think about that. I think it's gonna be sick. Oh my God. This is what happens if you take it to a body shop. Anywho, the car is coming out great. Let's just hope to God the airbag light goes away because uh, that one is because of when we got the car and also because that sensor over there. So we replace the sensor. Let's go to click the health, check for issues. We'll clear the codes and then uh, we'll go ahead and plug in that headlight. Vehicle info. Vehicle status, reset, resetting. So it's resetting TPMS. Hopefully this thing goes away. And hopefully the TPMS readings should show up. All right guys, well I guess right now we can just go ahead. I think it's gonna take a little bit. It's just go ahead and plug in the adaptive headlight so that air goes away. The wire on the back of the headlight. See that? Yeah. Plug it in. So yeah, remember this sets to drive and hopefully this will be gone by the time we get home. I'll let you guys know what's going on tonight. I'm gonna head to the gym. I'll see my brother later tonight. All right guys, so this is the next morning. My hair was messed up because I was wearing a beanie and everything. I just threw on a shirt. I gotta go take a shower, but we, we gotta tell you guys what's going on in my brother's car. You guys know it had pillar damage and all that stuff and the fitment and everything is looking amazing. That's actually insane. And we got pretty much the whole front end done for under $700. The bumper paint match, hood paint match, the headlights, you know, test fitted with the fender, replacing the, the upper pillar, $700. We went ahead to reset the TPMS and my brother drove it home, the TPMS light went away. Luckily the car had all the original TPMS sensors. But yeah guys, I'm actually just so happy for my brother right now. He finally has the car. The interior is absolutely disgusting. It needs a lot of coating. There's no lights on the dash. All the lights went away. Um, we cleared the check engine. We actually fixed the check engine. Do you guys remember when we actually started Started piecing together this car. So yeah, guys, pretty much the car is together. No lights on the dash. This needs a lot of cleaning, so hopefully we'll get that done in the next video. Or at least you guys will probably see it on Jonathan's channel. So if you guys wanna see the whole car get detailed, check out Jonathan's channel down below. There's gonna do a full interior detail, full engine detail. The car is filthy. The whole engine bay is muddy, and the whole interior just smells. So hopefully, don't mind my hair. My hair is all over the place, but hopefully we'll get all that stuff cleaned up in the next couple days. But I guess maybe the next video has to be the exhaust video for the 435. You guys want it? It's gonna happen. But without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on the search with my words, and I put them all together in search, cause I wanna have worth.